Hi guys, welcome back to the second video in learning Flask with Google Colab. In the first video, we have learned many things about the Flask with using Google Colab. We have learned how to use the Flask on Google Colab, how to use render template to use any HTML files. Now let's see some other things. So first of all, I'll make one code snippet here and here I will write some code. Okay, this will be similar like this. So I'll just copy and paste it here. And after that, uh, let us suppose what I want here is uh, I want to ask the user about his name and then I will show his name in the HTML file. Okay, so here I will make another root. So let's copy it and paste it below and let's name it page two. Okay. And here I'll create one file called page two dot HTML. And under this, I will ask the user that what is your name? And then I will show his name in page two dot HTML. So let's first create page two dot HTML. So here it is our path. We were making on here and here it is home.html file. Let's create one another file in template. So right click here and create new file. And now I will type here page2.html and hit enter. Now it is created, double click here and it will be opened here. So here I will write some codes. This will be similar like home.html. So I will just right click here with home.html, copy here and under it, paste it here and welcome to home page. Suppose I have this para welcome to home page and now I have to print the name of the user which he will provide. So I will use the Jinja2 template and here I will pass name. Okay. So when user will uh, enter his name in our python program then it will be shown here so let's see how it will be done i will just ask here his name in name variable and i will ask for input and here i will ask enter your name okay this is just the basic thing then how can you get the inputs from python to the HTML file. So it will just ask the name and I will have to pass here in page 2.html call and I will write here name is equal to name. Okay. So this name will be called here with using this and this name is provided here. Let's change the name variable here so that you will not be confused. So I will name it username and here username. So username will be in name variable and this name will be printed here in home uh, page two dot HTML. Okay. So let's run it and see if it is working. Okay. There is problem with function mapping in overwriting. Okay, the problem is here. I have not renamed the home here. It is the copy of this. So it will not work. Let's rename it as page two. Okay. So page two will be called here. So let's run it again. Now it is running. Let's click on this link. Let's refresh once. Visit the site. And it is at home page. Now let's jump to the page two. Page two. Now you will see that it is asking for something. It is just moving around. 
So when you will go with to your code, you will see that it is asking enter your name. So let's give the name Pawan Kum. Okay, and hit enter. Now you will see that it is showing here welcome to home page Pawan Kumar. Okay, so done. Let's see some another examples. Suppose you have to give these values into the page to HTML cons. Okay, so how will you do that? As you can see here that in this example, we have given the username with using Python. But suppose manually I have to give the values in any of the HTML files. So how will you do that? So let's see another example. Let's stop it first. And let's copy this. And let's paste it again. So uh, let's see one another example. And in this example, let us suppose I have created another HTML file. So I'll create the root for that. Another is suppose I have score, score root, and it will be score like this. And here I will delete this. And in the render template, in the render template, I have to pass any of the score provided. Okay. So how will you do that? So for that, in the root, I will ask the user to enter the, any of the value which you will need in the method. So I will write, uh, I, I need the a score in integer. So under this page two, I will just give the forward slash and I will give integer that is int a score. Okay. So it will be given here int a score and let us give it in Carrots. So like this, you can give your values in any of the HTML roots. So when user will click on page two, then he will uh, have to provide any of the values here. Okay. It will be integer. And when the page two method will be called, uh, sorry, this is mistake. I have to write this in a score, right? Sorry for the mistake, I have to write here. Okay, when user will call the score, then in the score will be called here, and under this score, you will have to pass any of the integer value. And when user will uh, call the page2.html, then this score will be used here as name. Okay, and let's change the name as marks. Okay, marks or a score, something else. Okay like this. Now, if you have this, then let's create, uh, uh, I have to create one score.html file, right? Not page to it. So, not done. Now, let's create another HTML file. So, create the new file and here I will rename it as score.html. So score.html is created. Now just go here and I have just given here the HTML tag and under the body tag, I will write uh, some Jinja to template so that uh, I, am, I want to show that if user have the marks greater than 50, then it will be shown that he is passed. And if not, then it will be failed. Okay. So how can we do that? For that, we will use the if conditions. And how can we use the if condition using Jinja to template in Flask? Just open any of the curly brace and use the percentile and under this start your blocks. Okay. And in this, I will use the if block. So I will use if your marks, if, uh, sorry, if marks is greater than 50. Okay. Then I want to uh, create one H1 heading and under this, uh, sorry, 
it will be here h1 and let's close the h1 first and under this i just want to show that you were fast okay and uh, else so for else i will use the same thing percentile and under this i will use else condition and else i'll just use this same thing h1 and under this i will show that you are failed okay like this you can do many other operations okay and now if you have created any of the block then you will have to close that block so for that i will use the same thing like this and i will use end if so this is the way you can close the if condition okay so it will be closed now we have done the coding for the score.html let's save it and now let's jump here in the score.html let uh, be sure that you have uh, defined your method a score and you have passed any of the argument under this so that it will be used here in the root and it will be passed into this parameter marks and this marks will be used in the score.html okay so now let's run it click on the link let's replace once visit the site and now let's go to score and let's pass any of the values like 70. So you can see that it is showing you are passed. Let's give another values like uh, 40. So it is showing you are failed. So it is working. So that's it for today. In the next video, we'll learn many more things like how to use the CSS file, how to use the JavaScript file, and also how can you inherit any of the html file into the another html file with using python flask so stay tuned see you in next video thanks for watching